What's up guys, Brad here. Deb here from Piney Grove. And what are we up to today, Deb? Well, a lot of things, but what <laughs> we're up to right now is we're gonna, we, Brad, is going to till the folks' garden. So this was our first garden yep. on the property for this year and his folks kept it up and his sister. And now they want to get ready for fall planting. Yeah, so they planted sweet corn, peppers, tomatoes, what, pickles or cucumbers, uh, string beans. It was a first year garden out here and because this was all raw land that we turned into pasture and then we turned this piece of the pasture into a garden, the soil wasn't the greatest. So we had corn that grew good on this end and corn that didn't grow so good on that end. So um, they've added some more soil throughout the years. They planted the rows and then they added a bunch more. They buy it in these um, uh, big white bags in back of pickup. I don't know where they get it, but anyhow, they spread it out here. So we mowed it with the zero turn last week, and now we're gonna till it and get it ready for fall garden. Did they say what they might plant this fall? You were in there talking to them a few minutes ago. They told me last weekend, and right off the top of my head, I forget. So I've got the King Cutter five foot tiller hooked up to the Kubota 39 horsepower tractors, the L3901. I'm gonna till this while Deb captures some footage and tell you what's in store for Piney Grove for the rest of the year. We are at, as we film this, we are at our two year anniversary for uh, publishing videos on YouTube. I had some witty commentary going on here, but unfortunately Bradford left his mic on, so here's some tractor footage without the tractor noise for you to enjoy. Oops, I messed up Deb's filming. He sure did. He had his mic on, so everything I just said is probably not even usable, and I was having little nuggets for you guys. We get a lot of comments whenever we till anything from folks saying that we shouldn't till, tilling's bad, don't till. Maybe not for gardens, but for other planting, we've really uh, gotten a lot of different opinions on tilling, but I love to watch a tiller. There's something very satisfying about it for me. And I realize that's odd and I'm odd, so I guess that's fitting, but it's just like a start over, right? New beginnings. I like it. And look at it, it's just super cool. Neato. So this isn't a big garden, but it was perfect for the folks, especially for what they need and what they wanted it for. But they got a lot of vegetables and food out of this. They did really good on their squash and the zucchini, um, their cucumbers, their pickles, their peppers. Their corn didn't do as great, but we're hoping that as time goes by, we can put more organics in the soil and it will get better and better every year. So this is prepping, like we said, for their fall harvest, which I still don't remember what they're gonna plant. And also, as you can see, it's not taking that long to do this. Small garden, small effort. If he takes out their uh, satellite dish, they will not be happy. And he will never hear the end of it. See, I mean, look at that. Who don't like to watch that? Oh, a stick. I gotta go get a stick. This would not have been a good thing had the tiller snapped it, huh? And that would have been my fault too because I'm the one that pulled up all the stakes, so I, I missed one. Glad he saw it. Anybody want to guess what they're going to plant for the fall harvest in Northwest Florida? Leave your comment down below. Maybe I'll either remember and let you know or I'll let you know. But it already looks like this dirt looks a little bit better just from the organic matter that we had for the last planting. And just like that, it looks like there's only one more pass to at least have tilled every part of it. Speaking of paths, Brad said I'm gonna tell you about what we're gonna do on the property. Well, this path right here leads to our east side fencing. And that is the only section of fencing that we've not replaced in this whole 20 acres. And that's gonna be our winter project, depending on how Brad heals. Brad, in just a matter of five, six days, will have complete shoulder replacement done. So he's gonna be out of commission for a while. Um, prayers appreciated for him and me, because he's gonna go crazy when he can't do what he wants to do. So we've stacked up our content so you guys won't, won't miss anything, but um, we might have some bonuses and some extras with his recovery if it's if it's amusing. <laughs> so stay tuned. So 
do you till? Do you not till? Do you guys garden? What do you plant? Where are you at? You gonna do a fall garden? What you gonna put in it? I'm really driving myself crazy that I can't remember what Pop said they were gonna plant this fall. How many passes do you do if you're tilling your garden? You do it till you don't have any of this other matter poking up? You go by soil consistency? How's that work? Remember, I was not raised a farm girl. Woo, folks, it is hot out here. It is 98 with a feels like of like 106. I gotta tell you, I was really looking forward to him tilling this because I wanted to see it get chewed up back to my original comment that I, I really like that process of old to new or in new beginnings. But this was our failed watermelon and cantaloupe and it didn't ever do anything and then it got overtaken with weeds. So Brad doesn't want to till it because Brad knows better and this will bind the tiller. So he went to go get Spunky, my zero turn, and he's gonna cut this down with the zero turn mower and then he's gonna till it. So I'll get that satisfaction, just not right now. There he is with my Spunky. I do love that machine. I know I've said it all the time, but man, I love that machine. As much as I love it, I don't wanna be that close to that netting. Speaking of him and my zero turn, so when he's recovering from his surgery, see all that pasture behind him? All the greenery? That'll be, that'll be Deb's job for the next several months. And I don't mind it at all. I like mowing. He'll have Bella duty and I'll be mowing. Look at what a good job she does. There was one watermelon that came out of that and we didn't know it and ran over it. The one that we had was sacrificed to the, to the garden. Maybe next year. Lower the deck and do it one more time. Okay, I found out what they're planning. Not because I remember, but because I went in and asked. So this fall, they're planning, and Brad's listening as well, cauliflower, broccoli, rutabagas, beans, and cabbage. That's what's gonna go on the fall garden, so we'll see how that does. Maybe they'll get as much as they did, or more from the spring garden. And Brad is back on the tractor. There's my spunky in the shade. Maybe I'll get on her in a little bit. Here we go back to tilling. And away he goes. I mowed last weekend, probably half of everything, and then he came out here and finished um, the other half with the finish mower uh, two days ago, and now what I mowed last weekend already needs to be mowed again, so might do that today again. We're just trying to catch everything up before surgery. That way, if we don't come out here for a couple of weeks, we're not that far behind. Ah, he went the other way, so I almost didn't get my satisfaction of watching that go from green to dirt. We talked about when a surgery was gonna be and when it was gonna be in the summer. He said, well, that'll be okay. You'll just keep up with all the tractor and the excavator work while I'm recovering. And I said, well, I'll keep up with the mowing maybe with the tractor, but I'm not sure the excavator work is gonna be caught up, so we'll see. I played with Precious, but I am no good at Precious, so we'll see. We actually won't see, I'm not gonna run Precious. I don't know if you saw that last little bit where Brad was within inches of my camera. He didn't knock it down though. Not that he hasn't knocked down the camera before, but this time he did not. Oh, he's still coming. And I'm walking backwards. If you know me, you know that's dangerous. Because I'm not graceful. So we're in Florida and a lot of our ground is sandy. But, and I'm not saying this isn't some sand, but this isn't as sandy as a lot of other areas of our pasture are. Our son used to have a little bit of a speech impediment. It was the cutest thing you've ever seen. And his S's were F's. So sweaty was sweaty. And 
and he's a grown man. He's got great speech, but we still say we're Fweddy. And folks, I'm Fweddy, but enough of my Fwet. Talking about the property and things we're going to do, we actually have our house plans off to a drafter right now who's actually um, doing some final touches on some of the plans that we want done. So hopefully, we hope that we get those final plans back here in the next month or so and we can make some decisions and then we can actually start breaking ground on our house. So that's the biggest thing that we have happened in at Piney Grove. After Brad's surgery, we have the house build. So stay tuned for that too. What do you think? How'd it come I out? I think it looks amazing. It looks really good and it didn't take you that long at all. Last week it was like this tall, corn stalks, overgrown, weeds, grass. We got a little bit of rain, otherwise this wouldn't have tilled up as nice. It would have been way too dry. It would have been like rock hard. But it tilled up good. You can already see the color change. We got poor soil here in Florida. It's kind of sandy. We've amended it a lot. And when I first tilled it, you saw with that moisture and that organic matter, it was kind of a deep brown, yep. wasn't it, at yep. first? But you can see that the sun is just sucking the moisture out of it. But uh, I don't know what you, you said to the good folks out there. I assume I just, that I just you rambled. talked about the spring garden and the fall garden and all that and, and tilling and now it's, it's ready, I guess. I, I probably said something like that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just ramble. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. We need to get out of this hot sun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Do you do a fall garden? How do you prepare for your fall garden? What do you plant? It's been a while since I've been farming or gardening, so I'm now just getting back into it. And Florida is a whole different animal because it's so hot out here. You have an early garden, and then in the summer you have nothing, and then you have a fall garden. But uh, it's, it's just hot, and a lot of plants don't do well out here. A lot of people don't do well out here either. It's hot. But that's going to do it. So remember, life short. Be kind and tractor hard. Take care, y'all. Take care.